Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog style video. Today I'm gonna be attempting to make a pair of pants that kind of just popped into my head. I watched an episode of, of the current season of Project Runaway and there was a contestant who made these like patchwork denim wide leg pants. So I know I wanted to do that, but then I had the idea of combining denim and dress pant material. So it'd be like a patchwork denim and dress pant, pant. Um, <laughs> So I went to the thrift store and I thrifted, it's like a black, even though it looks kind of navy. I have a gray to offset all the um, black that I have. And I have another black pinstripe. So black pinstripe, um, a wider, like off-tone black pinstripe. This gray that I only want like one little patch of just to offset everything. And then I have a dark denim and then a light denim. I'm gonna be using a pant pattern that I, I use to make a friend of mine a pair of pants because they were the right amount of wideness, but I will alter them just a little bit because they, were, they might be a little too wide for this project. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started cutting everything out. So now I'm just gonna put my pattern down and then try to make two big rectangles to cut out front, backs, etc. All right, so I have my two backs done. Definitely took me longer than I thought it would. So it's the next day and it took me basically all night to cut out the two fronts and then the two backs. Now I have to go through and sew them down because they're just surged and then also give them a good little press so they stay flat. Also cut out my two pockets and pocket facings in different materials as well to just kind of add to the effect. I still need to take my um, front pattern and cut out the facing part so that way it'll fit correctly. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I'm about to go catch up with some friends, go pick up a car, my mom's car, because my car will not make it to where I'm going. Um, so this project will just have to be put on pause. I might see you guys later tonight. I might see you next week. Who knows? I mean, cause I do want to finish these, so we shall see. So now I'm going to sew together the backs and put my darts in at a 5 eighth of an inch seam. And then you'll just want to tie that off and trim so that way you can have your dart lay as flat as possible. So here is the back all finished. Now it's time to do the front. I'm honestly very happy with those darts. I need to iron them down still. Oops, sorry, there goes my feet. I need to iron them down still, but super satisfied with um, the way everything is starting to look. So the front will be a little bit more difficult because right at my zipper fly point, I have this pocket, which was so dumb of me. I thought that it would be on the outside, but anyway, I'm gonna have to seam rip this pocket off before I can really start doing anything with the zipper fly in the front, and then I can put my darts in, etc. So first I'm gonna seam rip this off, put my darts in, sew them together, and then start on my zipper. I put my darts in and now I'm gonna sew my fronts together and then do the zipper.
So I just finished sewing the front and the back together. And now it's time to try it all on. So I have a feeling that it's gonna be big because the pant pattern I used um, was for a size 28, I believe. And when I made it for my friend who's a 27, it was way too big. It was like three inches too big. Um, three or four inches too big. So I know that this will be a little bit big on me, but I won't have to take it in as much as I did when I made my friend's pants. So we're just gonna have to find out. So believe it or not, it actually fits. So either I'm getting bigger or I went ahead and just adjusted for it when I sewed it together. I definitely need to cut the fronts though. They are too long. I kind of did want some kind of overflow, but like not that much. The back though, it's perfect. I cut it right at the edge of the actual pant. So it sits where I want it to sit, which is pretty cool. It looks kind of just wrinkled and crazy right now, but anyway. Back is cool, very into that. So the only thing now to do is to figure out what waistband I want to do. I want to borrow it from the pants that I actually cut out. So I either want to do like this darker waistband and I'll make it fit me, hold on. Do this darker waistband at the top. Or I can go ahead and do the light denim waistband to match. Can you see that, sort of? But anyway, I think I'm gonna go with the dark anyway because it's a nice contrast and that's what these pants are all about. I need to seam rip it off of here first. So when I put the waistband on, it didn't work <laughs> or it didn't go to the dimensions I want to. And it's also pulling here. Um, so what I did to try to fix it was put a clasp here. But what I'm going to do now is move the clasp over just a little bit more so it all sits straight. Um, but call me crazy, we're almost done. So I went ahead and fixed the clasp. I can't wait till the bottoms fray. <laughs> I think that's gonna look so cool, especially with tennis shoes. I put on a different shirt. I probably style it like this. And actually, I feel like this side is missing something. I'm gonna use acrylic paint to write out Live For You, which you know is Happily Dresses Mado. And then maybe even put like an HD at the bottom down here. Um, but if I do that, I can't throw these in the wash to like help them fray. So it'll just have to happen naturally. But yeah, I'm actually very happy with how they turned out. Um, the acrylic paint is gonna happen today, but it might not happen right now because I'm very, very hungry. So you might see me tonight, you might see me tomorrow, but either way, I am not done with this video just yet. And just like that, guys, they are all done. Can't wait for them to fray at the bottom. Went ahead and put Live For You on there. Try my best. It's not that sloppy, which is good. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy these. Also, LOL at how many times I keep switching the top half of this outfit. It's only because I can't find the real shirt I want to wear. I don't know where it is, so I'm having to improvise. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with the way these turned out. It was kind of crazy. All in all, I'm pretty happy I got to finish these bad boys. I definitely messed up my surgery a few times and I broke a needle putting on the waistband. I don't know if I told you guys that. Um, would there be some things that I change? Oh, of course. Um, maybe I would try to make the front more like the back because I like the back so much. The whole using the same waistband from the pant thing was actually pretty hard. And I could have done it easy. I think I was just rushing, but I'd probably do that differently. Um, yeah. That's all I can think of. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. It's always fun to just kind of